Another day, another story. People have swallowed elixirs, inhaled vapors, and applied ointments in the name of healing for millennia, but only a small number of substances can be said to have fundamentally revolutionized medicine. Seven of those drugs are listed here, along with some facts that may surprise you. Welcome to Tabo Eminent Channel. Polescu's Pancrin. The discovery of insulin was no doubt a major breakthrough in medicine. Prior to its discovery, diabetes sufferers often died at a young age. But while Canadian scientists Sir Frederick G. Banting and Charles H. Best, along with their colleagues, often are credited with the hormone's discovery and isolation, Romanian physiologist Nicholas C. Paulescu appears to have beaten them to it. Paulescu isolated a substance called pancrine, presumably insulin, in 1916, but he was soon after recruited to serve in World War I. He finally published his findings in 1921, though they were overshadowed by the release of the Canadian's report early the following year. Bayer, take two and call us in the morning. In 1899, Farben Fabrik and Vormels Friedrich Bayer & Co., later Bayer AG, introduced aspirin, a pain reliever that would come to rank high among the world's most commonly used drugs. The company credits the synthesis of pure acetyl salicylic acid, aspirin's active ingredient, to Bayer chemist Felix Hoffman. However, decades after its introduction, former Bayer chemist Arthur Eichengrun cried foul claiming to have invented the process of the compound synthesis himself, with Hoffman merely carrying out the procedure. Bayer holds by its claim that Hoffman was the inventor. Everybody stay calm. The introduction of the tranquilizer chlorpromazine, also known as Thorazine, in the 1950s represented a turning point in psychiatry, one that gave rise to the psychopharmacological revolution. Indeed, not only was chlorpromazine successful, by 1964 some 50 million people had taken the drug, but its development also laid the groundwork for the later generation of agents used in the treatment of anxiety and depression. Furthermore, the characterization of its effects on neurotransmitters and their receptors provided insight into how impulses are passed from one neuron to the next in the brain leading to major advances in scientists' understanding of mental illness and cognition. From chemical warfare to cancer, nitrogen mustards were developed in the 1920s and 30s as agents of chemical warfare. By the 1940s, however, it had become clear that at least one of these compounds, HN2, also known as mechlorethamine, was better suited for use in the fight against cancer, specifically against human lymphomas than it was in the fight between Axis and Allied powers. In 1949, mechlorethamine became the first drug approved by the US Food and Drug Administration for the treatment of cancer. The transition of chemical compounds from being instruments of warfare to becoming vital tools in the fight against cancer showcases the complex and multifaceted nature of scientific innovation and its societal implications. Mustard gas, infamous for its use as a chemical weapon during World War I, caused severe blistering of the skin, eyes and lungs. Its devastating effects on soldiers highlighted the horrors of chemical warfare. Derived from mustard gas, nitrogen mustard compounds were among the first chemotherapy agents used to treat cancer. Researchers discovered their cytotoxic properties during World War II and later repurposed them for cancer treatment. Nitrogen mustard compounds were among the first chemotherapy drugs used to treat Hodgkin's lymphoma and other malignancies. Platinum-based chemotherapy drugs, such as cisplatin and carboplatin, were originally synthesized for industrial purposes. However, researchers later found their effectiveness in killing cancer cells. Cisplatin, in particular, became a cornerstone in the treatment of various solid tumors, including testicular, ovarian, and lung cancers. So retro, that is, anti-retroviral. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration's approval in 1987 of Zidovudin, more widely known as AZT, was a breakthrough in the treatment of HIV-AIDS. While not able to cure the disease, the drug was found to prolong the lives of AIDS patients. It also was the first of the so-called nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, a group of antiretroviral drugs that became a cornerstone of HIV-AIDS therapy. Owing to these drugs, and perhaps most significantly to increased access to these drugs in countries worldwide, the annual number of deaths from AIDS declined in the early 21st century. 
The term retro in antiretroviral refers to retroviruses, a family of RNA viruses that includes the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV. Antiretroviral drugs are medications specifically designed to inhibit the replication of retroviruses, particularly HIV. These drugs have been instrumental in the treatment and management of HIV AIDS, transforming the condition from a terminal illness to a chronic manageable disease for many individuals. Antiretroviral drugs work by targeting different stages of the HIV replication cycle. They inhibit the virus's ability to enter human cells, reverse transcribe its RNA into DNA, integrate the viral DNA into the host cell's genome, and produce new viral particles. Effective HIV treatment typically involves combining multiple antiretroviral drugs from different classes to create a potent regimen known as combination antiretroviral therapy, CART, or highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART. Using a combination of drugs helps prevent the development of drug resistance and maximizes the suppression of viral replication. Population control. In the early 1920s, Austrian scientist Ludwig Haberlandt published a paper suggesting that hormones could be used as an effective means of contraception in animals. While it is unclear, he may have soon after tested a hormone preparation in clinical trials, despite heavy criticism from colleagues who considered contraception to be taboo. Haberlandt's work, however, came to an abrupt end with his suicide in 1932. Two decades passed before further clinical trials of hormonal contraception were conducted in humans and then largely at the urging of social activist Margaret Sanger. The first birth control pill was approved in 1960 in the United States, a life-saving contaminant. In 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming was in the process of sterilizing bacterial culture plates that had become contaminated with mold when he noticed clear zones circling mold colonies. The mold toxin responsible for killing the bacteria turned out to be penicillin which Australian pathologist Howard Walter Florey and British biochemist Ernst Boris Chain later successfully isolated and purified to produce what became arguably the world's most effective life-saving antibiotic. Incidentally, Fleming seemed to thrive on contamination. His other major discovery of the antiseptic enzyme lysozyme in 1921 was made after he had accidentally contaminated a culture plate with his own cold germs. Combination therapy known as highly active antiretroviral therapy, HART, or combination antiretroviral therapy, CART, typically involves using drugs from at least two different classes to target HIV at multiple points in its life cycle. This approach has significantly improved outcomes for people living with HIV AIDS, reducing mortality rates, preventing opportunistic infections and improving quality of life. While antiretroviral therapy is highly effective, it requires lifelong adherence to medication regimens and regular monitoring to ensure viral suppression and prevent the development of drug resistance. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.